Gore, the remainder of his kin, goes through his days endeavoring to make do on an infertile desert. With his little girl Love, he goes to his god Rapu for help. Yet love before long passes on from starvation. Similarly as he hears a voice calling out to him somewhere far off. Gore finds a desert garden where he finds Rapu, who had killed the most recent wielder of an old weapon known as Uldark the Necro's Word. Rapu ridicules Gore for his vulnerability and won't give any help, feeling double-crossed. Gore claims the Necro's Word and guillotines him and commitments for the disposal, everything being equal. Thor proceeds with his experiences with the Watchmen of the System, answering misery calls across the universe, while attempting to get back in shape. Notwithstanding, Thor stays discontent with where he is throughout everyday life, and plans to resign. An inundation of misery calls in regards to Gore arise, one of them being from Sif, who had pursued him down. Thor and Korg answer Sif's call heading out in different directions from the gatekeepers who leave to answer the others. They find a crushed Sif with her arm cut off, who cautions them that Gore will go after New Asgard next. In the interim, Dr. Jane Encourage goes through therapy for stage IV malignant growth, endeavors to explore for a fix demonstrate worthless, and she creatures to lose trust, however, Encourage becomes motivated to make a trip to New Asgard, with the expectation that their wizardry can assist with killing the malignant growth. As Thor has unconsciously captivated it to safeguard and courage while they were together, Mjolnir becomes attracted to her presence, intertwining itself back and instilling her with the powers of the strong Thor. That evening, Thor utilizes the Necro's word to crowd new Asgard with shadow beasts. Thor, Korg, and Sif show up to defy them, as does Lord Valkyrie and Cultivate. What Thor's identity is amazed to see. While they had the option to repulse the beasts, Gore escapes with Asgard's youngsters, including Heimdall's child Axel. Thor speaks with Axel and finds that the kids are in the Shadow Domain. Realizing that Gore's solidarity would be at its top there, Thor, Cultivate, Valkyrie, and Korg travel to Power City to caution Zeus of Gore, and request a military to assist with battling him. I'm convinced that Gore is a danger to Power City. Zeus rather has Thor caught, driving the others to mediate and battle off Zeus's men. In the fight, Zeus utilizes his thunderclap to obliterate Korg's body. Just his face stays in salvageable shape, albeit this is enough for him to make do. Angered, Thor utilizes the thunderclap to skewer Zeus in the chest, which Valkyrie takes as the gathering breaks to stand up to Gore in the Shadow Domain. On the way, Thor learns of Cultivate's disease conclusion, and the two revive their relationship. Upon appearance, they endeavor to find the kids, just to understand that they had succumbed to a snare. Gore expected to take Stormbreaker to use the Bifrost extension to get to Endlessness, where he can want for the elimination of the divine beings. They fight Gore and his shadow beasts again, yet are compelled to escape back to New Asgard. Once Valkyrie and Cultivate are debilitated, before Stormbreaker can be moved across the Bifrost, Gore takes it. Thor is educated that the impacts regarding Jolner are exasperating Foster's malignant growth, and he asks her to remain behind to recuperate. Valkyrie is additionally unfit to keep battling, leaving the thunderclap in Thor's control, so he can battle Gore once more. At the focal point of the universe, Gore starts opening Forever's door with Stormbreaker. Thor shows up and pervades the youngsters with the force of Thor, invigorating them enough beat the excess shadow beasts. Gore acquires the high ground against Thor. Having detected his trouble, Encourage chooses to use Njolnir again, notwithstanding her debilitated condition, and join the battle. Thor gives Encourage adequate chance to utilize Njolnir to break the Necro's word into pieces, damning herself and Gore. Thor recuperates Stormbreaker, and has the youngsters use it to get back, yet they couldn't prevent Gore from entering Endlessness. Thor shouts to Gore, and argues for him to pick love over death, as he races to Cultivate's side. Their affection helped him to remember the adoration he had for his little girl, 
accordingly choosing to utilize his desire to revive love, cultivate before long surrenders to the malignant growth, disappearing into Valhalla. Thor acknowledges Gore's solicitation to take authority of affection, before he bites the dust from the necro's words revile. In the consequence, a sculpture of encourage as the strong Thor is raised in New Asgard, Sif and Valkyrie start preparing the kids in battle, while Korg's body completely recovers as he looks to create a posterity. Thor begins to raise love as his own little girl, entrusting her with Stormbreaker, while he employs Mjolnir into fight. The two start venturing to every part of the universe, offering help to whomever needs it, becoming known as Affection and Thunder. In a mid-credits scene, a recovering Zeus conveys his child Hercules to kill Thor. In a post-credits scene, Encourage experiences Heimdall in Eternity, who invites her to Valhalla prior to saying thanks to her for saving his child.